sure. Well, and you grew up in Texas, right? Yes, San yes. Antonio, Texas. What, San Antonio. So, um, you know, around this time, were you kind of getting into the same music too? And like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was listening to Dell. I was listening to Cube. Um, I I grew up in a really weird situation. Mm-hmm. Now it wouldn't see some seem so weird, but mm-hmm. I basically loved all music growing up. Being in Texas, I was around a lot of country music. Mm-hmm. Um, I stayed on kind of like the north side of town, so I listened to a lot of skate punk, like nice. Black Flag, Dead, Dead Kennedys. Yep. But then when the church I went to was on the east side of town. Mm-hmm. So I played the drums in the church. Um, I listened to a lot of gospel and blues. Nice. And my cousins were from, from Virginia, Oklahoma. They were listening to a lot of hip hop. Mm-hmm. And so whenever I go see them during the summer, I would come back with like hip hop mixtapes. Mm-hmm. My mom was really into classical music, and wow. my dad plays jazz, wow. so I always had to go to, mm-hmm. you know, symphonies every single month. I had to go to at least two symphonies, wow. and my dad was playing the piano every single morning. Wow. So I just had an influx of just all this music. Well, then that so makes just so carried much with sense, me. like, on yeah. your, your, your music. I mean, you yeah. kind of inject yeah, yeah. all different kinds of styles. And that's what I really like about the new Dell record, or Dell and Amp Live record, I should say. Um, it has so many different elements, and that was really brilliant to me. And the way that you were able to tie it together and make it so seamless for me was very impressive. So, I mean, hearing that's how you grew up, yeah, that makes a just, lot of sense. It's just right there. It's, yeah. it's really, really natural. Yeah. I know... Now, a lot of the kids are, you know, you just go on Spotify, you can just pick different stuff. Yeah. And it, I think it's awesome. But it for is. me, it's just, mm-hmm. it was natural. So when we started, when I first started doing music, it was, it was some conflict, mm-hmm. like especially with the early Zion I stuff, wow. because we were doing drum and bass and some other, like a little bit more hardcore electronic mm-hmm. things. And people were just like, why are you guys doing that? Wow. Like, please don't perform that. Like, <laughs> we just want to hear boom bap. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, no. yeah. There, there was, yeah. there was a situation where we were warned not to do that, and no way. it was a lot. It was, it changed our career. The fact that we kind of stepped out and yeah. like did something different, but uh-huh. people were just like, "Do not, you're in a great position at the show. Do not do that song." <laughs> what? Well, I, you came and did a show for us in Santa Fe, and what, what was that 2010? And yeah. you freaking blew my mind like i loved Thank all that stuff like the bass heavy oh you still got the bass though on dell's record too this yeah, new yeah, record wow yeah. but um yeah i i would never have thought that somebody would say that to you i mean i guess i could see it this is early bit. 19 this is like 1999 2000 okay so this yeah. is a long time ago yeah. well now it's kind of like normal. don't play that raver stuff here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh shit What's that's why people about? still hated electronic music in general like yeah. don't play that weird old music <laughs> now now it's there ain't nothing else Everywhere. but it now, but I, I remember, though, it was like, don't play that. that wow. Why are you playing that? Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. 